welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia, I'm a holistic vocal coach and also a crossover classical singer. And I'm so happy for you and me to be here today inside your home, hopefully watching and reacting to one of our favorite artists at home singing our favorite hits. And today we're gonna react to Mariah Carey singing Always Be My Baby, which I love, love this song. I think most of us grew up on this song. I just love Mariah Carey back in those days. I love her now, but something about this time and the Butterfly album and just, it's just a classic. And no matter how old I'm gonna be, I'm always gonna love it. And um, yeah. So before we're gonna start react, did you like, did you subscribe? Because you're gonna get a notification every single time I'm uploading a new video. So make sure you're not missing that. And if you have any more requests to do one of your favorite artists and you want me to react to a specific video, please link it and comment down below. And yes, let's start reacting with no further ado. Oh my God. I can't wait to hear it now singing this. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm here in my home studio and I just wanted to say hi to everybody out there that's staying home and um, keeping up the morale and just wanted to dedicate a little something for you guys. This is one of my songs. Oh, by the way, this is not easy to do by yourself. Um, so I'm very thankful that we have Daniel Moore um, in his home studio working, playing some nice piano for us. And I um, want to dedicate this one to them babies for being so patient and staying here with me at home and um, not complaining too much. I love you guys and um, this has always been my baby. seemed everlasting that you would always be mine now you want to be free so i'm letting you fly because wow. i know in my heart baby that our love will never die you'll always be a part of me I won't beg you to stay If you're determined to live by I will not stand in your way hey. But inevitably hey. You'll be back again. again Cause you know in your heart, baby That our love will never end oh, even in my own home <laughs> bye thank you everybody stay happy stay blessed good night this is so good mariah you really 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 surprised me i'm also reading the comments in the video they're saying mariah is always so joyful to watch also the comments about her voice she's still going strong like 30 years into her career most people don't sound the same as they did in their 20s get over it Listen, it's very easy to come and judge somebody that is on the roads, singing nonstop, and 
you know, it's, it's, it takes a toll on us. Every athlete, you can't accept, expect the same performance when they used to be in their 20s. It, it, she's a different person. We even, as, as individuals, we change. We don't sound the same, we don't feel the same, we don't connect to the same things we used to, and hence her voice too. I mean, it's it's really amazing to me, and I'll have to tell you, there was a very famous song, a singer that I don't wanna mention their name. I went to one of the, um, it was kind of like a YouTube lounge um, type of performance, very, very intimate um, for Interscope Records. And, you know, I sat down with him and I asked him, well, you know, do you have a vocal coach? Are you training? He's like, no, I wish. But my time schedule, everything in between, is just not a priority right now. Because you're on the show, you go for rehearsals, you're, you're doing so many different things, and you're just mine is not there. It's not, it's not part of your daily routine. And it's always kind of surprised me because I'm thinking like, oh my God, like if I... Or, you know, for me, I started to understand how important the vocal technique is because I don't want to, you know, this is my instrument. I want to learn how to use it so I can sing for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and not get tired. Because I remember when I was teaching, remember, I was teaching from 7 a.m. all the way to, because I was doing also after school program, I had my own music school. And after that, I was after like 5, 6 p.m. teaching all day long, right? And singing and talking and using my voice nonstop. I would go home, get my, you know, dinner and out the door performing. Crazy, right? And sometimes I do performance also in the weekend. So I don't get the time to rest. But when you really understand how your vocal instrument works, trust me. There's no limits and you can only, obviously with respect, right? We don't wanna like, you know, abuse our voice or our bodies and get overtired, but learning how to use your voice in a correct way when you're speaking and when you're singing, it's just gives you so much freedom and nonetheless, also finding your true voice so you don't, you don't sound like when you sing this song, you're, gonna, you're trying to copy Mariah, but you're singing with your true natural voice it's such an amazing gift to see and watch and for you to express, okay? So it's a win-win-win. So I really, I understand where people come from saying like, oh, she didn't used to sound like she used to, but I really gonna tell you, she's she knows her limits and she knows where, where she needs to focus and I love that. that. That is a good artist and she, I believe her mom was an opera singer so she grew up in that understanding she heard music in her household i don't know if she was trained by her mom but definitely her whistle voice are god given god gift and um it's really amazing to hear her still those vocal cords are still nice aligned and closed to make this beautiful um kind of whistle sound so i really like that also i have to say not only she was very aware what she's doing right she's not trying to stretch herself way up above her range where she feels uncomfortable she stays where exactly where she's comfortable she obviously she's not doing the same choices she used to do in her 20s which is fine because this is important make choices by how you feel today don't try to compare yourself to that singer who sings the song or yourself singing in a different day where you felt completely different it's fine okay as long as you're true to your now your state of being right now um and also i really love how she's very specific and intentional with her runs with her riffs she is you know she gives you that <laughs> little tease in the ends and i really really liked it i have to say you really felt like she's doing it from the bottom of her heart and I love how, you know, I, this is what I tell to my students and for all of you, go make those collaborations. We have this amazing gift called technology. Think about like 50 years ago when people were in World War II or, you know, they didn't have this. Where something like this happens, you just sit at home and you don't even know what's going on in the world, right? You're just kind of listening and getting the latest gossip. No, we have this amazing tool we can still connect. Yes, it's not like a human touch, 
but it's the closest thing we have. So why not use it? Because this is the, gen the next thing. This is how our future is gonna look like even more. So instead of denying it, find your truth within this platform, share your music, connect with other artists, make your own music, try different apps to create your music. There's so many apps you can create music in like five seconds. It's so cool. So nothing can stop you. Definitely not coronavirus. So definitely do that. Now, what can we learn from this beautiful singer, Mariah Carey, which I love, love, love. Um, the importance of head voice, okay? The importance of head voice is very, very important. Listen, head voice and chest voice, as obviously the main two registers are very important to buy it separately, right? To really understand how they work and really feel it in your body. And also then connecting those two voice, what we call a mixed voice. But understanding the head voice and really feel comfortable in that head voice, really give agility to your voice, freedom, and you can definitely hit those high notes and actually low notes because in good singing and really good technique, you never go all the way down to the chest voice and use it just chest voice. You always want to use a little bit of head voice so your voice is nice and aligned because we never just sing one single note. We always go up and down. And if you go down and you with the voice going down and then you got to jump up and you got to reach up with your larynx and choking your sound up, it's not good. You always have to have a little bit of a little bit of what we call, um, I don't wanna say cover, but we definitely wanna have a little bit of lift and add a little bit of head voice to your sound, no matter if you sing chest, middle, or obviously high notes, okay? So how you find those high notes, how you find your head voice, your true head voice. One of the things I really, really love is using sounds from real life, not trying to sound as a singer, but use your true sound you use when you speak, okay? So we all, hopefully, you have a pet or you, you have a baby or a cousin, like whatever you think is cute. And you say, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm imagining my dog, by the way. If you don't know her, she's something else. Uh, but use that image of the cutest thing you ever can see and use the vowel ooh and just go from there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And there's your head voice. Now the important thing is, is actually not to blow too much air and use a very, very delicate intake of the air and exhaling of the air. It has to be really, really, really delicate, okay? Not like, not blowing too much air because head voice is really, really fragile and quiet, okay? You can't just blow air into it. So play around with this song, find your natural head voice, and then you can start doing more exercise to really develop this um, head voice in different in different notes and different combinations of notes and melodies to really feel that place in a very pure where you're still connected to your body, but you're really staying in those resonance uh, chambers. Okay, guys. So I don't want to yak too much about it, but if you have more questions, please comment them below. I'm always here for you if you're interested to do one-on-one -on -one with me online vocal coaching. I'll be more than happy to help you. So email me below. All the information is down below. So nothing can stop you. Use this time to take your voice to the next level. I really encourage you, really. And also, if you're interested to take a free vocal challenge, go to my website. You're going to insert your name and your email. I'm going to send you a PDF and MP3, a free vocal exercise that you can do at home. Listen, guys, this is the time, okay? So Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're subscribed and hope you comment with your favorite artists you want me to react to. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy. I love you so much and I'll see you next time.